Chris Kobach is the next state attorney general, putting him at the forefront of some of the most divisive issues. And he's speaking on topics ranging from marijuana to abortion. Kobach sat down with our Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung in his first exclusive interview since the election. It's the political comeback of the year. You gotta love a comeback story, don't you? After several runs for office, Chris Kobach is taking on the Kansas Attorney General seat, one of the most powerful positions in the state. In his first exclusive interview after the election, Chris Kobach says he's tackling government overreach. The Biden administration has undertaken so many actions that violate federal law or the U.S. Constitution. And fentanyl deaths. These narco-terrorist cartels are the ones bringing it in. They're extremely powerful, extremely well armed. Fentanyl is killing people in the U.S. at a record rate, with drug traffickers pushing fake pills that are almost identical to real ones. Kobach says he's cracking down on drug dealers. We need to increase the, the sentence that can be given to someone for trafficking in these controlled substances where the drug causes someone to die. And so it would be a death caused enhancement. Our state law needs to have this because in many of these cases, it's going to be a state prosecution. Having state law enforcement in the mix is also part of his plan to keep drug traffickers from smuggling dangerous drugs into the state. Now, when we talk about working with law enforcement, mm -hmm. what does that look like in your eyes? Uh, say in Texas, you have many sheriffs uh, deeply in integrated into the border enforcement there. You have the Texas DPS, Department of Public Safety, and so they have information on vehicles, individuals, operations of the cartel. We need to have that information in Kansas. Pushing back on government overreach is also on the top of his list. Kobach is creating a special unit to help put Kansas at the forefront of lawsuits against the Biden administration. That includes challenging Biden's student loan forgiveness plan. Kansas is one of just six states that sued to block the plan, which Kobach says is just one example of the president taking his power too far. The president doesn't have the authority to spend half a trillion dollars, which is how much that would be. Congress never gave him that authority. The Constitution does not give him that authority. His relationship with the president may be on the fence. But Kobach does say that he's working on his relationship with the state's Democratic governor, Laura Kelly, who's back for a second term. One item on his list, banning transgender athletes from women's sports. The governor said in her advertisements that she's not for uh, permitting, uh, I think she used the term men, uh, to participate in girls' sports. I, I assume she meant biological males. Let me just say it. Of course men should not play girls' sports. If she's now come around on that issue, because she did veto that bill prior to the election, we'd be happy to work with her. That's one of those issues that has a lot of legal angles to it. Kobach also says that he plans to defend laws that are already on the books. That includes abortion restrictions. In a historic primary, the majority of Kansas voters rejected an amendment that would give lawmakers power to set more limits or even ban the practice. I asked him whether he would support a similar amendment down the line. If lawmakers were to come up with, let's say, another value than both amendment, would you support that amendment moving forward? Uh, it depends what the wording of the amendment would be. I mean, in principle, perhaps. I mean, I supported the value them both amendment that was recently on the ballot in August. From personal uh, communications with Kansans, lots, lots of people didn't understand it, the way the legislature drafted it. So that would be a, a really important thing I'd be looking at if they propose something in the future. Marijuana legalization has also been a hot button issue. State lawmakers are working on a bipartisan bill to legalize medical marijuana. And based on our polling results, about 61% of voters would support it. If it passes, the state's attorney general would also have to defend that law. I'll absolutely defend whatever the legislature passes. That's the number one duty of the attorney general. Uh, I will off offer cautionary advice, however. The states that have legalized marijuana have encountered a number of law enforcement problems. One of them is it's spread into being used by minors. Another is the difficulty of enforcing it on the roads in terms of uh, impaired driving. Unlike alcohol, where you have a BAC, you have these uh, abilities for officers to do breathalyzer tests right there on the spot. We don't have those tools or a firmly established line of where impairment begins. As for what's next, Kobach is looking ahead to next year's legislative session. He's drafting bills for when lawmakers return. We're getting bills drafted on a number of subjects. One of them is the subject of enhancing the penalties for people who deal in fentanyl. I think our human trafficking statute needs to be broadened to address this very real problem of human trafficking in Kansas. And those are just a couple of a, a larger package. So I am getting ready for that as well. Kobach is set to take office in January. Reporting at the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chung.